I think when we looked at our competitors, so many of them were, were sort of set up more like management consultants and you know, serious businesses. And they didn't necessarily take the, the element of brand and design as close to themselves as they should have done. I think the other one was, we just wanted a symbol that actually summed up what we did. And clear, clear defendable territory, is, as I say, is, is the mantra by which we, we look at every piece of work we do, we look at every brief we, 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 we come across and think about where we're going to find it. The stag, a, a stag is a beautiful beast made, made for fighting. And that just for us came, it, it created this sort of nice metaphor for what we were trying to do. You know, a brand is, is, should be a beautiful thing made for fighting, creating that clear defendable territory, defending its space, owning its space. So for us, the stag is a metaphor for what we're trying to find in ourselves, but also in our clients. When you start a business as well from scratch, you've got the opportunity to create an integrated story as well. That's the luxury that you have. So from the name to your, the way you look, to the way you talk and what you stand for. So we, we had that opportunity mm. to tie everything together. So the clearing, clear defendable territory, and the stag is a symbol that represents that. A really good example is probably Fitness First. Um, you know, when all of the, a lot of the other clubs or the gyms, they were all talking about kind of, um, you know, about how you look and getting kind of ready for the beach and all those sorts of things. And everybody was saying the same thing. Uh, but the insight was all around sort of how fitness actually makes you feel and the inner confidence that unlocks. So for us that put us into a very different space. So it wasn't about how fitness makes you look, it's about how fitness makes you feel. So that gave us the clear defendable territory to build the brand from. And therefore the brand needed to look very different to all the other gyms who were kind of looked vaguely the same um, so we said actually you know this needs to be like a fit you need to look like a fitness leader and therefore it starts to look and behave a bit more like an apparel brand um, rather than a fitness than a gym so that's why it kind of looks the way it does um, but yeah clearly born from from a strategy a strategic idea um, which ultimately puts it, gives you that clear defendable territory and then we've got to deliver against that. Sometimes it's a bit more subtle but it's still a clear defendable territory, it's still giving them a space that they can own. So for instance, uh, Breast Cancer Now is interesting in terms of all the other breast cancer charities were very women powered to an extent and that, that was absolutely right, obviously it's, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's predominantly you know, it's, a, it's a woman's brand but actually what's really interesting when you talk to them is is not everyone you know, a lot of men donate a lot of money to breast cancer charities because a lot of men are left bereaved by breast cancer so a lot of breast cancer charities felt like they really excluded men and actually when we worked on breast cancer now we realized actually this brand had to really include men men had to be a fundamental part of that charity so just by that, I mean, that's a small part of it, but that was a, a way of saying the brand had to look a certain way. It had to be one where everyone could go to. It shouldn't feel like it was much more about women. Uh, it had to feel much more inclusive. That meant it gave us a different color. It gave us a different approach. The other thing on that was a lot of those uh, cause charities feel top down. You know, we're gonna solve this disease. You think of can um, cancer research. It's all about we are going to solve this disease. We are going to create the, the, you know, the, the thing that creates the solution. Breast Cancer Now, it was all about supporter base. It was all about all these people who spend hours and hours and hours raising money for research. It was their charity. It, wasn't, it didn't belong to a central organisation. It, it, it had to be built base up. So those are the sort of things we're looking for. We're looking for ways where it may not necessarily be a huge leap from one place to another, but we're looking at all the elements of the brand that can influence the way it feels, the way it looks, the way it sounds. And we're trying to make sure that we're not falling into the same traps as everyone else.